The historic day in space travel. It is here the day we've been talking about all week. Virgin Galactic getting ready for a groundbreaking flight. Billionaire Richard Branson set to lift off in a spacecraft he built, changing the face of space travel. And ABC's transportation correspondent Gio Benitez is right there in New Mexico waiting the highly anticipated launch. Gio, good morning. Hey, Whit, good morning to you. We are getting closer and closer to that launch. And overnight, we had a little bit of drama. Some winds delayed that launch by just a bit. But right now, the skies are looking clear. So, so far, we are still a go for launch. My mission statement is to turn the dream of space travel into a reality. This morning, Richard Branson preparing to become the first person to ever go to space aboard his own spaceship. Kind of shimmy like that while pulling down. There you go. How's that feel? Branson and his crew of five getting an early look Saturday at the spaceship Unity, which will launch him into history this morning. The billionaire making it a huge production, even setting up a concert stage with pop star Khalid performing during the launch. And people are showing up in droves to witness Virgin's monumental moment. Anne Marie and George Reckentine of New York were driving in their RV when they heard about the launch and turned around. There's so much out there and and this is part of it. It's awesome. And now what's been dubbed the billionaire space race is getting friendly. Jeff Bezos set to launch in just nine days on his Blue Origin ship, posting this on Instagram, wishing you and the whole team a successful and safe flight. Best of luck. Branson commenting on the post. Thanks, Jeff, for your kind words. Best to you. And SpaceX founder Elon Musk, whose crew dragons have already launched 10 astronauts to the International Space Station with a surprise tweet. We'll see you there to wish you the best. Overnight, Branson posting this video about when he was first asked about wanting to go to space in 1988. I'd love to go into space. I think there could be, there could be nothing nicer. So. If you're building a spacecraft, I'd love to come with you on it. And Branson has. But before the launch even happens, the mission already inspiring people like George and Anne Marie to dream. What kind of things yeah. is this technology going to unleash? What are we, we're going to be able to transport? I don't have to drive eight hours to get here. Yeah. I can just hop in a time machine and get there. I like the way they think and take a look at this right now because Richard Branson just tweeted out this photo with SpaceX founder Elon Musk. He is here at Spaceport America to watch that launch and you can watch it right now also on our streaming network ABC News Live. Eva. Really a historic day that we'll all be able to watch unfold. Gio Benitez, thanks so much. Let's bring in former NASA astronaut and ABC News contributor Katie Coleman. So good to see you this morning, Katie. This is a crazy exciting day. So kind of walk us through what these passengers are going to experience today. I know you've been to space several times. Walk us through exactly what somebody's body goes through on a flight like the one they're going on today. Well, I first just have to say that there is nothing like waking up in the morning knowing that today is the day you are going to space. I mean, as a, as a real person having that happen, um, when they actually, they'll, they're fueling right now, they'll go out to the craft. There's about a 40 minute, uh, you know, getting up to altitude where the spaceship is then released. It's rocket motor fires, and that's when they are sort of slammed into their seats, and the Gs will build until about three and a half Gs. That's about twice what you would feel at an amusement park. And then suddenly, as they arc up over the top, there's, there's when that en as soon as that engine cuts off, that rocket engine that's pushing them, then suddenly it's zero G, and that's the sensation, you know, of floating. They can unstrap. But the biggest thing is going to be looking at the view, seeing the Earth from that far away. It's going to be amazing. And then as soon as now you're in an arc, they're coming then down a few minutes later, they'll start to feel those Gs strap in. And that's when they're going to feel those uh, those Gs, meaning that sensation. I say like it's like a gorilla sitting on your chest, um, a big one. <laughs> and that's when they're going to feel that on the way down, not for very long, and then just come in for a landing and be changed forever, I think. And I'm curious from your perspective, what do you think this means for the future of space travel? I think it means everything. And, and I'll say that no matter how things are going today and whether even for weather or whatever, they, they're not launching technical difficulties. It's clear that we have the capability here on Earth for people to leave the planet and that we've we have companies and different people thinking differently to bring more people up there and not just about the people that get to go. But I think it changes a mindset down here, especially for young people that they can do anything.
And that is so true. They can do anything. Now we can go to space. One day we may even be able to go further in space. Katie Coleman, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.